Welcome back, my fellow Harmonauts, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Harmony One Weekly. This week, we have some exciting updates to bring to you. Starting off, we'll talk about the update to Harmony's mainnet, and we'll be diving into updates from native DEX protocols and some newer GameFi platforms. We'll also hear important information from Harmony's co-founder and CTO, Ron Jean Lan, as he reviews the Harmony Protocol roadmap. With all these updates happening, let's get started. More than just a general update, we have a few items to bring to our community's attention. We would first like to begin with announcing the mainnet release version 4.3.9 that launches at Epoch 999. This hard fork will implement a consensus change, HIP 1.6. This change enforces a 6% max key used by any given validator within a given shard. In addition to this, another critical feature will be the addition of a new flag to block the private IP range peer-to-peer -peer connection. You ready for the most exciting news? We have confirmation that two of our top five centralized exchange validators, Binance and KuCoin, are already supporting this mainnet release. To learn more about this mainnet upgrade, check out the links to our GitHub in the description below. Now, let's turn our attention inwards to the broader Harmony ecosystem. We recognize that decentralized exchanges are the backbone of the blockchain. Users utilize a DEX to interact with the blockchain, assets, farm pools, and they desire to see the innovation of these financial institutions at their fingertips. We love to see the growth and fresh ideas that attract users, volume, and interest, which is exactly what two of Harmony's native DEXs are accomplishing. First up, SonicSwap, one of Harmony's OG projects announced their approval for receiving a strategic investment of up to $192,000. SonicSwap, a native Harmony decentralized exchange, announced their approval for a Harmony ecosystem grant to further their development of one of the brightest communities in DeFi. One innovative concept that SonicSwap has introduced is the idea of cloud mining and furthering the idea of passive income. The project received four strong yeses in their proposal with a commitment to focus on five crucial areas. Cloud mining processes and hardware, NFT marketplace and affiliate program, server and GPU rentals, staking pools and third-party platforms, and an upgrade to the user interface of SonicSwap and SonicCloud.tech and its casino application. The team has their hands full with this transitional period and is actively working towards a sustainable green solution to power their cloud mining operations. Secondly, the team at OpenSwap announced the release of their latest product, OpenXSwap. On May 22nd, the team launched their multi-chain DEX aggregator, which allows users to find the best rates on their trades across different blockchain decentralized systems. In the DeFi realm, users recognize the need to minimize transaction costs per trade, and OpenXSwap helps achieve that. Price impact on trades can vary, and users may not always be aware of other platforms hosting this liquidity. OpenSwap brings an incredible improvement to users' quality of life. Rocket Monsters is a forthcoming action game developed in Unreal Engine 5 that allows users to collect and play with unique NFT armor-equipped super soldiers. On May 23rd, the team revealed their partnership with the Fungify app, bringing yet another exciting upgrade to the Unreal Engine and the Harmony blockchain. If that alone wasn't enough to satisfy your update hunger, the Rocket Monsters Zarin Bear and Hoverbike sale began its launch on Metatron on May 24th. Their first mint sold out quickly. This mint was more than just bears. It also included hoverbikes. The team is creating an economy based on its in-game currency, which is supported by LP liquidity, play and earn emissions, in addition to treasury applications. The project will emit its token over a 30-month period, and players can expect to get their hands on the beta prior to the game's launch in the fall of 2022. The team at Fish Fight have been cooking up a catch in the Harmony gaming space. Fish Fight is a fully interactable blockchain game based around dozens of unique and equally deadly fish. Collecting and growing your unique fish collection to battle it out in an arena-style combat. 
they recently conducted an AMA with Cerebral Gaming, where the team highlighted the new abilities for each fish, as well as the amazing changes to their burn mechanisms. You can view all the developments and join the Cerebral Gaming Discord using the links in the description below. For this week's Technical Corner, I had the opportunity to interview Harmony's co-founder and chief technical officer, Ranjan Lan. RJ joins us today for a Q&A regarding the Harmony Protocol Roadmap. RJ, thanks for joining. Looking at Harmony Protocol's roadmap, can you provide a short summary of how these upgrades will improve the Harmony network? Yeah, sure. So for the Harmony Protocol Roadmap, we actually have three main categories for all the updates. So if you look at the uh, protocol roadmap, we have feature and tools, and we have security and decentralization, and also efficiency and performance. So for the uh, feature and tools, like it include like Quashard smart contract messaging protocol that allows like applications to talk to each other uh, among all the shards. Like for example, if you have an application on shard one, you can tap the liquidity of DEXs on shard zero, something like that. Um, of course, we also plan to uh, implement account abstraction so that more type of uh, transactions, including smart contract transactions or even gasless transaction uh, can be enabled on the network. For security and decentralization, it's all about making the network stronger and more secure and more decentralized. Uh, we're going to revamp some of the features about slashing and also about the validator requirements so that there is less room for collusion and less room for uh, attacks. Of course, we're going to gradually uh, kind of and more further decentralize our network by reducing the number of validators that Harmony runs. Right now, we only run 10% of the node, but gradually um, and eventually we're going to um, basically put all the node to external validator. Right, and the Harmony will control basically zero node for the network. And for efficiency and poor performance, of course, we're always aiming to improve the finality of the blocks. And we're also um, increasing the block synchronization speed so that um, all of the RPC node can always catch up to the latest block and serve the latest fresh data to all the developer and users. And in, this, in the meantime, we're gonna uh, update some of the cryptography libraries like the BLS library, which is used by all the validators to sign the blocks to reach consensus. And once we upgrade the library with a faster implementation, it could totally like uh, speed up the consensus process and give us a faster finality. So that's just uh, like a brief summary of all the uh, kind of major aspect of the photo roadmap, but we can definitely uh, dig deeper uh, into each of the aspect. I know that we've seen a lot of discussions revolving around cross shard messaging, and I just want to ask, how will it improve Harmony's position as a gaming blockchain? How exactly does this messaging work, and what are the barriers that you're facing with implementing this function? Sure, that's a good question. So Harmony as the sharding based blockchain, Actually, we're the first to launch uh, sharding and proof of stake blockchain. Right now we have four shards and uh, we actually currently support transferring native one token across shard. But uh, one of the problem right now is um, the applications launched on different shard, especially the smart contract cannot kind of uh, call each other from the other shards. And this kind of prevented uh, applications to launch on different shards and basically talk to each other, especially in the case uh, right now, most of the applications like uh, DeFi applications or game applications are launched on shard zero and all the liquidities are also in shard zero. So if we're going to expand our footprint to other shard and uh, let more app game applications to launch on the other shard, we need to support the cross shard smart contract messaging protocol so that applications that's living in like shard one can directly call the DEXs on shard zero and utilize or take advantage of the liquidity from shard zero. In this way, there's there won't be kind of a broken liquidity across different shards. Like 
application can only access to the liquidity in the in the same shard, that's that's definitely gonna hurt the ecosystem. So with the cross shard messaging protocol, you will be a asynchronous protocol where applications can send a message from one shard to the other shard and also uh, re like expect a response from the other shard uh, in an asynchronous way. And this basically break the barrier of all these shards and make all these shards kind of um, uh, composable with each other and uh, basically fully kind of utilize the full power of uh, Harmony blockchain in the sharded network. Thanks again, RJ, for all that information. That wraps up this week's One Weekly. If you have any questions, please head over to Harmony's talk forum at talk.harmony.one or join our online social media channels on Reddit, Telegram, Discord, and more, which we'll link below. Once again, we want to thank each and every one of you for being part of the Harmony community. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned and watch next week for more updates on all things Harmony in the One Weekly.